Well, we're looking at temperatures that are very much on the mild side. Normal high this time of year is 40. Well above that, right now 47 already in Pittsburgh. Some 50s showing up. Washington and Denora. Waynesburg is at 49. Look at Latrobe, 53 degrees. Indiana, you're at 50. Even some upper 30s in Champion, Somerset, 49. Beaver Falls and Newcastle, you are checking in with 48 degrees this noon hour. So not bad for December. Here's a look at our uh, radar loop. Over the past six hours, not much going on as we. Uh, look for precipitation, just some cloud cover in most of our area. But you see the first little sprinkles coming just to the south of Montague County and then over into portions of western Maryland on over into the Bedford Altoona area, starting to get the first little bit of this moisture that's coming up from the south. It's been plaguing central and southeastern Virginia, West Virginia, and in through western Virginia all morning. Then there's another little bit of moisture that'll be moving in from the west. This is running into a little bit of drier air, so that will take a little longer for that to sort of uh, manifest itself tonight. So the models are sort of uh, delaying the onset of this rain just a bit. At first, they had said around noon, and then as we went through the morning hours, everything started to look like around 2, 3 p.m. for the first little bit of activity along and south of I-70. So we'll call it around 2 or 3 this afternoon. We'll start to see a few light rain showers in Washington, Green, Fayette counties, down toward Montegalia County. And then through the afternoon, here's 6, 7 p.m., just in time for the afternoon rush, possibly a little bit of light rain around Pittsburgh, but most of it, again, will be along and south of I-70. And then through the evening, the heaviest rain and overnight falls in that area south of I-70. Just light rain off and on through most of the Pittsburgh area. Those of you up to the north, lighter rain. And Saturday all through the day, rain showers off and on. And then we had a little bit of break of a break Saturday night before this wraparound moisture comes in, sets in for Saturday night through Sunday, changing to a little bit of wet snow in the I-80 corridor and perhaps some wet flakes in the higher elevations of the laurels and ridges just for a minute. Most of it will be rain and by Sunday noon, it should start to die out and taper off a bit. So hopefully with the Steelers game, things will be take the poncho, but you could see just a few showers. The projected rainfall totals have been dialed back as well. We had seen some models predicting up to two, two and a half inches of rain. It looks like from Pittsburgh to the south, possibly an inch to maybe an inch and a half down south of I-70. Those of you to the north, quarter to a half an inch, and that's over 48 hours. So cloudy and mild with rain developing this afternoon south to north. 48 degrees going to be your afternoon high. Once the rain starts, we'll stay pretty steady there in the upper 40s. Tonight, very mild rain once again with the low temperature only 40. And then your seven day forecast, well, we get up to 50 again tomorrow, but it'll be off and on periods of rain and a little bit of a, a chance of a wet snowflake mixing in Sunday morning for those of you in the laurels and ridges. That's about it. Other than that, we stay very mild. We're looking at uh, scattered showers Sunday morning. Should start to taper off. Hopefully, we'll be out of here by later Sunday afternoon. Monday, Tuesday, back to the upper 30s, but dry through the first part of next week. Like sure. the dry part. I know, and the warm part is good, too. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and if we only get about an inch of rain over 48 hours, no flooding concerns, so that right. would be good. good. Thanks, Kristen. Mm -hmm.